So I harvested my first ear of corn. I feel as though it's unripe. That's not at the peak of when someone would harvest it. When you can put your nail to the one of the kernels and it comes out a milky sap out of the or milky liquid out of the corn ear. You can tell when I tested it. But yeah, I feel as though it's good for me to harvest it seeing how there's ants crawling on the corn. And I wanted to harvest it as I felt maybe the ants might go into here and ruin it. And there's any of those corn worms that I've heard about that ruin the corn ears. And right now it did get it's missing some, but it's good. It's really good. So I thought about harvesting it. <laughs> Hopefully the Air Four other six since there's four more Bantams, and there's two Blue Rio Grande, which those are the cornflower ones. So I'll let, those are still kind of small, and the other two Bantams are getting pollinated by the wind and the, and the pollen rain down for me, shaking the silk, not the silks, the, where the pollen's at. So I just wanted to, to show you this and say, well, this is probably just a experiment and probably just a lesson. Maybe next time I'll get one like this and it'll be better and I won't have an ant problem. Thank you for watching for my harvesting of this corn and talking about it and about what I witnessed in the garden with the corn plant. I can tell you right now, two corns for the, two or four corns for each box, how big it is, for how big it might be, even two, mm -hmm. next time, but this is a good learning experience, I'm happy to see where this went, and I'm glad I got this, thank you for watching.